Hello. Um, welcome to getting back into Z Doom in 2024, episode number two. Uh, so, all right. Last time I complained about Slade. Um, yeah, I never found a way to Y align graphics or uh, wall textures in Slade, which is uh, seems like a pretty severe limitation. So I got Doom Builder, which is Windows only. That's seems to be the biggest complaint about it. Um, let's see, uh, I think I could make this a little bit bigger, not that it matters, I think you can see all right. All right, um, so here we are in Doom Builder, just like Slade, I had to set up the same stuff, I had to tell it where lzdoom.exe was and things like that. It asked for gzdoom.exe. I've made a made a level here. I mean, I've made some stuff. I fooled around a bit. Uh, I've two things here. I got a, I got a line portal, uh, and it helpfully shows you the way this works. Is um, let's see, we right click to go to properties of the line. Takes a while. My computer's slow, mostly because. OBS Studio and Doom Builder at the same time, along with this huge screen. Um, not this screen, a different screen that happens to be plugged in. Uh, I think all those things combined to just make things slow. But anyway, uh, so in line properties, you can set the action to 156 set line portal. And I'm using the ZDoom wiki to figure this out. Um, if you go to the portal page, cdoom.org slash wiki slash portal. Um, it talks about different kinds of portals. It talks about line portals and uh, stacked sectors. We've used sec stacked sectors back in Junko, but line portals are relatively new. Um, so th this is how I'm finding this stuff. I'm out. I'm looking at the ZDoom wiki and then and then setting the specials on the lines, sometimes just by the number, because I don't know how to find it in here. So, uh, you know, we, we were good at finding things in Zeth, and a lot of that was configuration files for it that I had made that added a lot of the newer specials. We might get good at just remembering these numbers. Anyway, the line portal, uh, you create two lines get out of here. Use arrow keys to move around two lines and they have to be the same orientation except flipped. I, I've tested this out a little bit and found that they should be flipped. Um, they might be able to be at different elevations. I think there's uh, arguments to the special that indicate whether to use the floor or the ceiling as the reference height. I have these two at the same elevation, um, and you said you give the lines a tag, and you give the tag of the other line as the argument to the other line. But you can also just give them the same tag and the same argument. So exit line tag. That's that's argument one. Uh, Doom Builder knows for a given special what the arguments are, so it doesn't just say argument one, two, three, it, it names them. There is no argument two. And then it gives you, it lets you select the portal type, so you don't have to remember the numbers from the wiki. Although, it's probably good to read the wiki and understand how this stuff works under the hood before you just fool around in Doom Builder. It's the approach I've been taking and it's been working well, I think. Um, here's where you can select plane aligned floors or ceilings. Now since I have these two at the same height, I don't think it matters. Uh, and then they're both exit line tag one and they both have tag one. And we can go, it, just like Slade, you hit Q to go into 3D view. Where did I put that thing? Oh, it won't show up in 3, and also ESDF, not WASD. Uh, that got me confused for a second. It's like Unreal Tournament. Okay, the, the line portals don't show up uh, in Doom Builder. That's where it would be. There's an imp that I added. So let's um, hit Q to get out of here. Hit go. Um, where's my... Oh, it's back here. Uh, whoop. Gotta switch back to WASD. Alright. Here we 
we go. I'm crossing the line portal. Now I'm in a different zone. Um, I think there's there's four different ways you can do line portals. Uh, and I selected the third. The fourth one is like the most immersive. It makes it seem like that the two sectors are in the same place um, by fixing it on the map. That the map the way the map handles it is a little bit... Cat, get out of the way. The way the map handles it is a little bit strange. You see, I cross the... And then I go to some random place, but then if I leave the auto map... Whatever. That's that's a quirk. Maybe it's one of the things that's been fixed in GZ Doom, but not in LZ Doom, which is what I'm running here, because I just... I don't know. I to use LZ Doom. Um, okay, let's also look at... Uh, uh, 3D floors. So 3D floors are cool. I think you, you sort of maybe saw it there. Um, this sector here, um, there's a control sector. So this control sector has a floor height and floor texture that will become the bottom of this platform and a ceiling height and ceiling texture that will become the top of this platform. Also, uh, the light level from the top of the platform down, so in this case, because it's an opaque platform, it really means under the platform, the light level will be taken from the control sector. So I want the underneath this platform, this is like a bridge, um, I want underneath it to be darker and over it brighter. And I'm gonna put some lights up there or something. That's that's the plan. Um, could do that now, actually. Why don't we go ahead and, and then it's square brackets to change the um, grid size. Uh, so and then we, just like Slade, we hit L to go into line mode and then we just doop 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 doop. Um, and it, this is a thing that's a little nicer than uh, Zeph. Uh, these programs, these newer programs know how to subdivide your sector. They're they know that we're drawing within a sector and that the appropriate thing to do is to uh, you know set the side def so that the outside is that sector and yada yada I'm not sure if it would what would happen if we like went across a line but let's try it just to just to find out oh my gosh look at that it did the right thing <laughs> Uh, so what we could do here, yeah, let's delete these sectors, um, take these lines, uh, are they one-sided and all that? Yeah, it automatically made them one-sided, impassable, we can put a, uh, let's put metal, metal is the texture on those, I'm kind of slapping different textures everywhere, just to just so different things look different. And now let's add, so the, at the ends of this bridge, let's put somewhere to go. Um, and you know what we might do is actually connect it to that sector to see what happens. Uh, now we don't need that tag anymore. Because um, this, is, this is just gonna be a normal thing. Uh, the floor height of the top of the bridge is 104. Um, and this will, of course, need a lower texture. Um, I might just wait until we get into 3D mode to show that, just to show it off. Derp, 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 derp. And then I think maybe we can say like Control C, Control V. To oh, that copied the whole thing. I didn't. Oh, and then it. <laughs> it it's, it said, hey, these two sectors overlap. Uh, F to flip line defs. It said these overlap, and it just kind of took the union of the two shapes, which makes sense. It, I'm, I'm kind of surprised how good it is at doing that. I haven't figured out the math for doing things like that. Maybe it's not that hard. I was trying to figure it out like years ago. Oh, and since I copy pasted the other sector, uh, it has all the, the tags and stuff are correct. 
Um, all right, let's go into 3D mode. And so 3D mode knows about, um, it knows about 3D floors. So you get to see the preview. Now, can we control C, control V? Yeah, we can. Um, whoops, did a W instead of a, so. Um, now here's here's uh, that we need to align these textures, right? Oh, these should these should be upper unpegged. Whoops, whoops! I hit the wrong button. I hit up instead of. What happened to that imp? That imp just disappeared. Oh, move thing! You can see over on the right side of the screen. So if we hit Control Z a couple times, all right. Now we're back where we were. Now hit C to clear the selection. If I had one, I'll make sure to use. ESDF to move around. This line, this line, this line, and this might actually be easier in the 2D view to do this part, but I'm just gonna take these lines and right click and set upper unpegged. Okay, so now the tops line up. Let's see to clear my selection. Um, I think I can do Control C, Control V. Yep, to align those. Now here, here's the thing where Doom Builder is way better than Slade. Um, let's see. I want to Y align these. I think the shortcut, the keyboard shortcut for that. I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if that'll work. And you can do it without selecting lines, and then it does everything with the same texture. I think, but I like having control over what it's doing. So if we say shift A, aha, look, look at that. This is beautiful. Oh, also the texture, well, it doesn't just happen because it's at the top of the 128, right? Um, so that looks kind of nice, that solid bar there. Nice, nice accidental touch. Okay, clear that. Um, there we go. Yeah, nice looking sector. Oh, what I wanted to do here, let's go back to 2D view. So hit Q to go back to 2D view. This sector and this sector, I want to set the ceiling height to uh, 192 plus 8, so that's 200. And brightness can be a little higher than it is in the surrounding area because it's going to have lights on the ceiling. Um, tr -tr -tr surfaces, you go to the surfaces menu, pick the ceiling, say. Uh, Seal 1, 2, that's a good light texture, one of my favorites. Um, and since there's two of these and they're not really visible from each other, I think we might as well do this part in 3D mode. Whoops, whoops, I clicked the wrong button there. Those lines, those lines. Okay, now, let's see, is it, okay. Right clicking. Last time I right clicked, it tried to add a new line. Eh, that's something I might need to get the hang of. Uh, and it's it. This is kind of helpful that it shows you. Like I know that the that that's going to be necessary to pick a texture there. But in case you forget or you know, like what am I doing? It it says better pick up for texture there. Um, and since metal is metal, don't really care about unpegged or anything. And I think that's all we need for the lines. Now the sectors, you notice the grid is offset. Um, so we can go in here, texture offsets 32 by 32. Um, what I mean is they don't line up on this grid. And then hit Q to go to 3D mode. Let's go look at that. Oh, well that's wrong. But, well that one, okay, these are, why are they? Text, oh, because that was, I set floor texture offsets. Don't, don't want to offset the floor, just the ceiling. Hey, look at that. All right, now we got these lights. Everything looks good. You know, and maybe, uh, maybe this is too bright, actually. Maybe we should, oh, I'm, I want to select, maybe you can't select sectors. But what I want to do is set these sectors, that one's the top of the a column that comes up from the floor. Make them a little dimmer. Right click. 
properties. Oops, okay, right click. I wanna see if there's like, okay, if you right click and then use the arrow keys, you can get over to the other tabs a little quicker. Heights, brightness. Um, let's make it 192 instead of 200. Leave these 255. Now the floors might look a little brighter, but that's fine. And this doesn't... Okay, why? I thought we fixed the... Didn't I select those, right? I selected those and said metal one. Oh, no, I don't want metal one. I want metal. Maybe I accidentally hit cancel instead of OK or something. Well, that one has it. Anyway, hit C to clear. That part's the same as Zeth. Um, no. Let's fix that wall. Control C, Control V. It needs to be lower unpegged. Select, select, shift A. Oh. The, the wall that you're pointing at is the one that it will leave alone, and the other one it'll change the offset. So you gotta make sure you point at the right one. See, now this one's screwed up. Okay, we do this. Shift. Whoops, I picked the wrong one. And the one that you... Ugh. Okay, I thought the one that you picked from didn't have to be part of the... Okay, we point at that one. That's the reference. All right, there we go. Everything's fixed. Um, and then... I had to change the key bindings in Slade so that it used arrow keys instead of the numpad because I don't have a numpad. And if you do control... Sh no, control A does X... Whoops, but I used the wrong one as a reference again. <laughs> Control A. Uh, okay, good enough. Anyway. I don't have a number number pad, so I it's better to use for me to use the arrow keys to do the small adjustments to textures. And I could change it to do multiples of eight pixels or whatever, I'm sure. Um, oh, might as well fix this column while we're here. Yeah, okay. I don't want to get too into this because there's one other thing I want to try. And in this case, we're going to use this room. So we do Control A. That's the reference for that. So that, eh, not that it matters too much with that texture. All right. Oh. Let's see to clear the selection. Control C. Control V. Uh, okay, actually, I want this to... Does it say... Oh, 64, 0. So at the bottom of the screen, and it's at, it, you might not be able to see it in the video because I chopped it off, but it does say what the offset is. So while you're using the arrow keys to do the minor adjustments, you can see that. Uh, so now what I want to do is fix these textures based on that one that everything lines up on the grid as God intended. Okay. Get out of 3D view just so I can click this. There might be a keyboard shortcut to test map. I don't know. And uh, I, so in LZ Doom here, I went into display, okay, not to video mode, and I picked 1024 by 768. Um, and that way, when it starts up, it's a larger window. You can also have it be full screen, but if you have multiple monitors, it, it's goofy. And I have another monitor, and it was jarring. Uh, like, it moved things around on that monitor. With, this is why I set it to windowed mode. So, for testing, I think that's fine. Now, switch back to WASD, of course. Oh, now we got some monsters to deal with. They're cool. Yep, there's cool lights up in there, but there's no way to get up in there. And there's no way to open that door, because I never actually set the special on it. Um, line portals let you do stuff like this, you know. <laughs> neat. 
Okay. So let's let's do an experiment here and then and then let the video end. So what I'm thinking is I'll attach this place to this place. The floor of this is 104. Um, and that's geez, how do we get to 104? Uh, four, five steps at the minimum, very tall steps. Or we could have a lift. Let's do a lift. Go into line mode, insert, dirt, dirt. It'll be a kind of a silly looking lift, I guess. Um, floor will be 104. Yep, that's all correct. So what we do then is we right click this line and we say uh, uh, lift. Oh geez. See, I don't know how to find lift in door open, thing raise. It's called lift, right? Lift. I can't like type to find it, so I'm just gonna have a very boring section of this video where I Oh, platform, lower, weight, raise. That sounds like a lift. Um, and if sector tag is zero, that means the one directly behind, I think. Of course, it should be repeatable. wonder why there's a selected action requires activation. Yeah, right. Uh, it's repeatable, and we do it. Oh, that's nice. So if it hasn't been marked as having a trigger, then it doesn't work. Then then it gives you a warning. Yeah. Um, all right, that's cool. And then we'll make the other side also know that it's a lift when the player walks over. Oh, what was it, 56? Okay, it wasn't 56. It was, they call it platform here instead of lift. Sector... Oh, I think I went too far. Platform, lower, weight, raise. Same thing. We want it to do the same thing when you walk across that line is when you use the lift. Uh, da -da -da. I'm not sure if these matter. Like those lift might be kind of a special thing, you know. And I think maybe this is correct to have the back side of the line be the sector that is the lift. And then we want to give the yeah that's that's what I like to use as a lift texture that's fine I think and we just need to set the lower texture of this side um, maybe we'll go into 3D mode here maybe that'll help us uh, how do we get over there we go this way and we go through the floor and we say yep that's wrong that should be called like lift one? It's been a while. Lift. Nope, it's not called lift. Maybe it's called plat one. There we go. So that looks good, except that looks terrible. So what we can do is add a vertex. Go back to 3D mode. No, where, where are we? And then we can nudge this with the arrow key until it looks right. How about like that? Maybe that's how it should look. Anyway. Now will this work? Will this lift do the lift thing? I'm not sure. Also, the textures might look stupid. We could put some support too in there, you know, to fix the textures. What is this? This is uh, eight. Six, uh, yeah, we want eight because we need 24 wide for t support two. That's not true. We used to do 
uh, 16 wide support to all the time. We just gave it an offset of 4. Um, and then we go to the top of the lift. Well, that looks stupid, so we, we must fix that. Remember to use uh, E SDF. Um, control. Okay, or shift, shift A. Oops, I did it wrong. Okay, <laughs> you got a point at this wall. Shift A. All right, and then I think if we okay, it, and it doesn't need to be um, left to right, unlike. Unlike in Zeth, things that I think had to go left to right. Maybe the floor should be like a slightly different texture or something, or maybe it should be raised a little bit. And then let's put some like plat one on here. Um, that way you can sort of see that it's a lift, I guess. I think, I don't know, will it, I'm not sure how, it's been a while. Anyway, let's, let's try it out, see if it works. Okay, we're going to try to ignore the imps. I don't really want to mess with them. I just came to check out my lift. Oh, look at that. oh my gosh, look at that stupid texture. It's all wrong. Hey, it worked. And I... <laughs> Doom Builder must have... I don't know if Doom Builder did that or if uh, GZ Doom. Uh automatically made the lower texture the same as the floor texture. It's not a bad idea. Um, yeah, no, this sector does not, or this line def does not have a lower back texture. So I guess GZ Doom, instead of just showing garbage there, will fill it in with the floor texture, which kind of makes sense. And you know, it's like by default you want that side to be the same material as the uh, the, the floor. So I think, uh, yeah, yeah, I went around in my loop and it had some strange topology. Well, not really a strange topology, but strange geometry, right? That portal kind of space is smaller there than it is at the top. You go through this space without crossing it. So, um, all right, end of video.